Welcome to a video that will go over several application problems that can be solved using proportions. Let's take a look at the first example. The directions on the label of an over-the-counter fever reducer states to take 10 milligrams of liquid per 40 pounds of body weight every six hours. If you weigh 140 pounds, how much medicine should you take? So we're going to write two rates that compare the amount of medicine to body weight. And the first rate will be 10 milligrams per 40 pounds of weight. 10 milligrams to 40 pounds must equal the rate of milligrams to 140 pounds. So we'll say x milligrams to 140 pounds. These two must be equal and therefore form a proportion. Therefore, the cross products must be equal. So we'll leave off the units for right now. 40 times x must equal 10 times 140. And now we just need to solve this equation. So we have 40x equals 1,400. Divide both sides by 40. And 1,400 divided by 40 equals 35. So if x equals 35, you should take 35 milligrams of medicine if you weigh 140 pounds. Let's take a look at another example. A team of forest rangers need to estimate the population of deer on government land. They catch 100 deer and tag and release them. Later they catch 40 deer and 8 of them have tags. Estimate the deer population. So we'll form two ratios that compare tag deers to the total number of deer. So if they catch and tag 100 deer, the ratio of tag deers to total deer would be 100 to x because we don't know the total number of deer. Then when they catch 40 and 8 of them are tagged, 40 would be the total number of deer and 8 would be the number tagged. And notice these ratios are consistent. We're comparing tag deer to total deer here and tag deer to total deer here. And that's important because we can't change the order of the ratios and still form a proportion. Now we can cross multiply 8 times x must equal 100 times 40, that would be 4,000. Dividing both sides by 8, we have x equals, well 4,000 divided by 8 would be 500. So using this tagging technique, the rangers would estimate there are a total of 500 deer on the government land. On this problem, you plan to drive from Phoenix, Arizona to Houston, Texas, which is 1,175 miles. If you travel 442 miles in two days, how many total days will this drive take? We're going to compare miles to days for our two rates. So the first rate will be 1,175 miles to the total number of days, which we don't know, so we'll say x days must equal the rate of 442 miles per two days. And of course, this problem does assume that we would travel at a constant rate per day. Now we'll cross multiply. 442 times x, or 442x, must equal 1,175 times 2. So we have 442x equals 2,350. Dividing both sides by 442. x will be approximately equal to the number of days the total trip will take. Let's go to the calculator. 2,350 divided by 442. Looks like it will take approximately 5.3 days. Here we have a geometry example. These two triangles are similar, meaning they're the same shape but different sizes. And similar triangles are proportional, which means the ratio of corresponding sides are equal. So to determine the length of this missing side here, we'll set up two ratios comparing the larger triangle to the smaller triangle. So we can say that 16 is to 5 as 12 is to x. Again, it's important that we compare the larger triangle to the smaller triangle consistently. 
as we did here. So now we'd have 16 times x, or 16x, must equal 5 times 12, that'd be 60. Dividing both sides by 16 will give us the length of this missing side. And 60 divided by 16 is equal to 3.75. So this side has length 3.75 centimeters. I think we have time for one more example, one of my favorites. In this problem, we have a yardstick that casts a shadow two feet long. If the shadow of a flagpole is 25 feet long, how tall is the flagpole? So on a sunny day, we can determine the height of a flagpole without ever having to measure the actual flagpole. So if this is our yardstick, this would be three feet and the shadow would be two feet. And then it also tells us that the shadow of the flagpole is 25 feet long, measured here. And the height of the flagpole is actually the unknown. So if we were to form a triangle here, these would be similar triangles. So we can set up a proportion to find the unknown. And we'll compare the heights of the poles to the lengths of the shadows to set up our proportion. So we would have 3 is to x as 2 is to 25. And as always, we'll find our cross products. 2 times x must equal 3 times 25, that'd be 75. Dividing both sides by 2. So x equals 37.5 feet, which would be the height of that flagpole. I hope you found these sample problems helpful.